Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the Hundred Years War. It spanned from 1347 to 1453. Causes of the Hundred Years War Controversy over succession After the French king died without a successor, the French nobility selected Philip of Wallace. He was chosen over King Edward III of England, grandson of the dead king. In 1340, Edward claimed the title of King of France. French land belonging to British kings. Here you can see, under British influence, you can see here the, uh, the color. And uh, here you can uh, see the, the territories which belonged to French land but uh, these were occupied by British kings. A longer standing issue was the status of lands within French uh, <clears throat> France that belonged to English kings. Edward was actually a vessel of Philip's holding territory as uh, fifths from the king of France. It went back to the Norman conquest. I struggle for national identity. These are causes of these hundred years war. France was not a united country be before the war began. The French king were only controlled about half of the country. Hundred Years War. The war was fought off and off on for over a hundred years. So as you can see, hundred years, but these wars were not a continuous wars. War. A single war was not uh, going on for hundred years. It was for um, for hundred years, but there were several battles in between. Longbow was a very important uh, weapon used by Britishers. <clears throat> the English used longbow and uh, longbow was six feet long and could pierce the armed knights from 100 years away. So this is the story. Uh, it arrows has more penetrating power than the crossbow as you can see. Here is uh, <clears throat> early British uh, victories. So you can see that uh, earlier, Britishers were, you know, enjoying victories and the British won early victories at Cressy in uh, 1346, Poitiers in 1356 and uh, in 1415, Agincourt. The longbow spelled the beginning of the end of the chivalry and mounted knights. Here you can see the early victories of, uh, <coughs> of British. Here is the... Calamus and uh, 1347, Cressy in 1346, and now you can see here Poitiers in 1356. Height of English dominance. Now here, they they were dominant. Uh, it was 1429, as you can see here, they were dominant to this much part in Britain that time. Okay in uh, nearly 1429 so there were ups and downs in in this war so as you can see and uh, Joan of Arc Joan of Arc uh, we will be talking about uh, this now her voice told her to go to the king and assist him in driving out the English she dressed like a man and was an was the knight's most charismatic and feared military leader Later, <clears throat> she was the most famous for the defeating English at the Battle of Orleans. Battle of Orleans. Shortly afterward, the French heir to the throne, Charles uh, VII, was crowned as the king. And uh, here it is very important. She instantly became a symbol of French resistance. So, if uh, it is asked that uh, who was the symbol of French resistance joan of arc cannon used at orleans joan announces the capture of orleans to the king later joan of arc okay what is the significance of joan of arc so you can see here the she inspired the french and provided a sense of national pride so national pride she inspired french people there she was captured during the attack on Paris and fell into English hands and they just, uh, she was uh, burnt.
<clears throat> she was burned because uh, uh, she was condemned and burned as heretic. Result of the wars. Knights became, become obsolete, feudalism weakened, and French kings consolidate powers, and France develops into a nation state, and English lost power in France and became politically weakened. So this, these are the, re, the results of war. You must write down in, on your notebook, and you should know why 100 years war is asked in so many exams, because it has its great significance. Here is the final result. Now you can see uh, they have, uh, you know, won this much area, the everything. And now France is, you know, uh, united, unified. Here you can see English holdings and French holdings. France in 1337, you can see. Here they have uh, their place, okay. Uh, it was captured by Britain. And here also a small place, Calais. Calais. It was also captured by Britain. Here you can see France in 1453 after this war. This was the state. Nothing was uh, in the hand of British. And it is now unified. So thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care. Good luck for your exam. Don't forget to share and like the video. You can share your views in comment box.